Today I'm going to be talking about the, my fall lineup, whether it will be canceled or two thumbs up. So, let's get started. Roll the film. Yeah. Well, how can I explain the truth the best I ever had? And I what up, YouTube? This is Jarena Cena. And I'm coming to you guys to make a video on fall shows. And you've seen a whole lot of um, fall show commercial um, previews um, as commercials on on TV these past couple of weeks. And I want to the shows that I think will be canceled, canceled, versus the shows that will you know have a season or two or even three. So we'll talk about is, is how to get away with murder. Um, it's another show by Shonda Rhimes. You might have heard of her. She's the executive producer of Scandal and Grey's Anatomy and Private pa Practice when it was on. Um, so how to get away with murder is starring Viola Davis. She's a Law, law school professor and she also practices um, law too as well and she is kind of has the twists and turns of scandal mixed in with a little bit of Grey's Anatomy drama so that comes on on Thursday night at 10 o'clock it's, it's taking the place of scandal scandal goes to 9 o'clock but that show will be two thumbs up. I don't think it will be canceled <laughs> by December. So um, I'm giving it two thumbs up rather than the C word. So yeah, comes on at on ABC Family. So check it out this fall, September 25th. So next Thursday. Um, yeah, my predictions hopefully will come true that it won't be canceled because none of show um Shonda Rhimes' stuff is canceled, but. You never know what will happen, but okay. The, the blackish is kind of like um, it's, it's kind so black is it explores one man's effort to con accomplish the culture identity for his family after he discovers his children don't have one. So um, you see Anthony Hopkins play. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Anthony Anderson <laughs> plays. Um, the father and he knows that his his kids don't have enough black <laughs> in 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 their lives so he decides to you know teach him the ways and it's also starring Tracy uh, Ross and Lawrence Fishburne I this is what um one of the shows I'm kind of afflicted with um cuz it's right it's all it's on the family um family Wednesday, as I say, with Modern Family and all those different um, shows on. So I don't think it will be canceled. I, um, it just needs the right push. So I'm going to say not canceled, but um, you never know. It's, it, needs, it has the right people in it. These pe um, I love Tracy. Um, well, I haven't seen it since Girlfriends and in the, in the show. So... I'm really excited and that will be on Wednesday night at 9 or 9 30 on ABC Family. So it starts September 24th so make sure to watch out for that show. The next show is called Selfie Cancel. Ridiculous. I cannot be even from just seeing the previews of it it's going to be canceled. I give it until December. Um, it'll probably run until December, but no doubt it's canceled. Um, it doesn't have any a main plot, and I know everybody thinks the selfie is taking pictures of themselves. So um, that's kind of the gif. The so today's social media driven world and how people communicate with their friends and family. So I don't know. A show like this cannot last long. So I'm gonna say. Cancel, okay? If you want to check it out, it starts September 30th at Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Um, 
the next show is called Forever. Um, this is this has been getting a lot of um, commercial time, um, and it's uh, I don't know his name. Ian Grufford. I'll put it right here because I can't pronounce his name. Um, he's a New York City medical examiner named Henry Morgan, who is he he can he actually can die and come back to life and he's been medical practicing for years and and he's he's taking on the challenge of solving some of these murders um it it's premiering on two nights the 22nd and the 23rd is for two hours um it might not be canceled he was in the ringer which was only canceled in two seasons so you never know. It might not be canceled, but I'm calling it a cancel show, just because it. I, I I need something with a little bit more plot. Other than he dies, he can be and um he can be anybody else than a medical examiner. I don't think it has any more, more drive to it, but we're gonna give it a shot. So it's called Forever, and it will be on Monday night, September 22nd, and Tuesday night, September 23rd at 10 o'clock. Uh, I'll give it a chance, but you know, it's been getting a lot of airtime, so maybe hopefully it will work out. But I'm seeing a big flat cancel by December, or it might just go the whole season and then just be canceled after. The next, we're hitting NBC. Now, in, NBC has not given me anything in a while. Let's be honest, the shows that is kind of lacking since the 90s. I miss the friend shows, I miss, you know, Will and Grace and stuff like that. So. Um, these are the shows that we've been seeing on commercials come along. A, a new show is called A to Z. It starts October 2nd at 9 o'clock. It's a student, it's a, it's a student of new, uh, How I Met Your Mother and School of Television, A to Z. It's a romantic comedy that chronicles of a relationship from the beginning to the end. Kind of like 50, um, day, 50 Days of Summer. Um, I don't... It's going to be canceled. Uh, romantic comedy shows don't last long on NBC. so And then they just take them off, flatline them. They only will last for at least six weeks. So I'm going to give this a big cancel. I'm sorry, guys. It's not starring. Let's see. Kristen Mello Totes. I don't know who that is. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know who, who any of these actors are. I'm going to give it a big cancel. Sorry, guys. The next show. Now, I'm going to give this show a shadow of a doubt, okay? It's called The Mystery of Laura, which stars my favorite Will and Grace star, Deborah Messing. She's playing a, a cop in NYPD, a detective who spends her days in cleaning up streets and most of the time cleaning up her twin sons and son soon to be ex-husband um it's life it's supposed to be a comedian a comedian drive behind it but i want to know what the mystery is of laura i mean what will be the mystery i'm dying to know because if it's not as big of a mystery than her just being able to be the normal typical mom in the 2000, 21st century of coming home and taking care of the kids and doing the um, work at, um, I mean, that's nothing. I feel like it will be canceled. Sorry, I'm gonna drop it. A big C, cancel. NBC this fall, it's October, um, it starts October 2nd, 9th, it's called The Bad, Bad Judge, and it's starring one of my girls from private practice. She was the leading actress, um, Kate Walsh. She's really funny, and she's playing a judge on this show, and a criminal court judge, but here's overused and kind of boring. Catch. While Rebecca Tolley and Kelly has it together in her work life, her personal life is exactly difficult of a hot mess. So it's kind of mimicking the mystery of Laura. So between the two shows, I would get this a pass versus the mystery of Laura because I think they're kind of mimicking having, you know, having it be crazy at home, but they have it all together at work. 
I mean, it might do well. People miss Kate Walsh just because private Kate, um, private practice has canceled. So now, um, you can move. She's moving over to an NBC, and let's hope for the best. Bad Judge comes on October second at nine o'clock. So CBS. I can't talk about CBS because none of the shows are worth talking about. Sorry, CBS. But I do have uh, recurring shows, and if y'all want to know my fall lineup for those, um, give me a big thumbs up, and I'll do another video. Okay, so we move on to Fox. Shocking that Fox has new shows coming off, but I'm kind of looking forward to these two shows. I don't think it will be canceled anytime soon. It's called Gotham. Um, started September 22nd at 8 o'clock. Described the uh, original story of the future Gotham Police Commissioner, Jim Gordon. And it starred Ben McKenzie from the OC in Southland. And then it's also starring Jada Pinkin Smith. So it's kind of like a DC comic kind of thing um, going on. Uh, you know, but it's kind of dark. Because it's not dealing with Batman himself. It's dealing about the city that he came from. Gotham. Which is a dark place. So I'm looking forward to the show. And hopefully it does good. So check it out. Gotham. September 22nd at 8 o'clock. One of the next Fox shows that start um, tonight. Um, well, tonight for me. No, I don't know. Friday is when this video comes on. So um, it's called Red Band Society. It starts Wednesday. So, oh, starts tomorrow night. Sorry, September seventeenth, Wednesday at nine o'clock. It's set in the children's ward of a Los Angeles hospital, narrated by this kid who's in a coma. Um, Red um, Red Band Society reminds me of the well reminds me of the Breakfast Club. So a, a band of teenagers that have sick, um, having um, medical problems, and they all try to deal with their life um, being in the hospital. Like not has changed. They try to deal with their medical problems and try still to be kids. So it's um, um, I'm really I'm excited about it. Hopefully it does good. It's starring. The Oscar nom um, Oscar winner Octavia Spencer is in it, so I really like her. Um, so let's see how she does in this. Hopefully it, wor it works out great, and we will have um, a good show. So I give it two thumbs up, and hopefully it won't be canceled. But you never know. Um, my predictions might not come through true. They probably will be canceled. You never know. So, CW, I love CW shows, um, Vampire Diaries, Originals, you know, I love them. So, the new um, comic, it's a spinoff of Arrow, which I rarely watch anymore. It's getting a little bit dull for me. It's uh, Flash, um, Grant Gutson as B um, Barry Allen. So... It's a super um, hero show. People tend to like them. Um, they, it won't be canceled. Hopefully it won't be because people tend to like um, action superhero shows. So other than that, that's it for that one. The next show that I'm really looking forward to is Jay. My the show that I'm really looking forward to this um, this fall is Jane the Virgin. Okay. She's uh, um, she she goes to the um, gynecologist, and the gynecologist makes a mistake of get um she's a virgin, and she actually inseminates her, and she becomes pregnant. So dealing with the fact that she's never had sex, and now she's pregnant and she's getting ready to be a mom, it's totally freaking her out. And she's um she's been the good girl for years. And now she's um, doing so she, the, the one thing she didn't want to be like her mother because her mother was 16 when she had her is to be just like her. So I'm um, looking forward. One of my 
big looking forward to is Jane the Virgin. It starts Monday, October 13th at 9 o'clock. So I'm really looking forward to that. I hope it does well on the CW. And it, it sticks to the plot because that's a pretty huge thing. She's like Mary. <laughs> Mary, you know, Jesus Mary. Yeah, yeah. So that's all, you guys. I, I appreciate y'all coming to watch my videos. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll talk to you guys next Friday. Peace. I won't